Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to explain a little bit how the backend cold email infrastructure works. So I made this cool graphic here in this website so you can see exactly how this works. So just to explain, basically what we want to do with cold email is be able to send as many emails as possible without landing in spam, right? So let's say that we wanted to send 500 emails per day, right? For example, or 600, let's say per day. We couldn't send 600 emails from one email account because imagine if you send 600 emails a day from one email account, obviously like that account's gonna get banned, you're gonna land in spam, etc. So the way that we can do this is by instead of sending more emails from one email account, we can create more email accounts and we can scale the amount of emails that we send in total. So how do we do this in a scalable way? For example, with Outlook. As, as we can see here in this graphic, we have a bunch of different email accounts. In my particular case, I do two email accounts per domain. So what we have to do, as you can see here, we have, well, I have other graphics here, but don't worry about that. <laughs> Here we basically have 10 different domains, right? And from each domain, we have two email accounts. So that would be a total of 20 email accounts that we have. Now, let's say that we send 20 emails per account. Let's say we have 20 email accounts. We send 20 emails per account. We could send 400 emails. Now, in a, in a month, there's about 22 sending days, you know, 22 weekdays, let's say. So we could send like 8,000 emails a month, basically with the setup. So if we want to send 600 emails, we can just set up more domains, more email accounts. Now, for example, with something like Outlook or Google as well, the way that Outlook works is you have to create an admin panel and then inside the admin panel, you put the domains. With Outlook, it's recommended that you only have a maximum of 20 accounts per admin panel. So that's why we only have 10 domains and 20 accounts. And then what you can do, if you wanna double the sending volume, then you can just create a new admin panel and just have 20 more inboxes. And then you can create another one with 20 more inboxes, right? And that's how you can scale your cold email infrastructure. Or if you just wanna, maybe you just wanna add like half you just want to add like five more domains with 10 more accounts. And you can also do that, you know. And up here I had like this little example. This is just like an example of how you can create multiple domains. So let's say that your main domain was hello.com. That's just like a random domain. Then you would create very similar domain names. So you can add like a prefix, for example. Instead of hello.com, you, you can say like buy hello.com, your hello.com, and then basically create a bunch of different variations like that. And you can have 10 domains or more. And then from each one of those domains, you create two different email accounts. So let's say John at buy hello.com and then John Doe at buy hello.com. And you do the same for each domain. And you can just have you know, as many domains as you want and keep just scaling the system further. So yeah, this is actually it. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope it was useful for you guys. So yeah, see you in the next one.